today's video, um, as you just saw, was a little bit of a vlog slash uh, show you and discuss with you the styles of House of CB. Now, I've recently really gotten into House of CB because um, I like their styles for going out, like clubbing, but they're a little less... Well, you can't walk into a place and see as many House of CB styles as you can Opoly dresses. So no disrespect to Opoly because I have some pieces from there which um, have really stood the test of time, but I wanted something a little different. So, um, this right here is my first ever House of CB uh, piece. It is my birthday today and this is the Jasmine dress. Now this dress was incredibly hard uh, to get my hands on. Um, it is in a size extra small and apparently according to the lady who I spoke to in the store when I was hunting for it, um, the extra small and the smaller the hardest sizes to get. Now I managed to pick this up um, on Selfridges because it wasn't restocking on um, House of CB. And so this is my birthday dress for this year. Um, I think it comes to a good length for me, though I am a probably 26 waist. I've been eating a lot of pasta this week. Um, and this is quite constricting the corset part. So I would say, unless you're really, really tiny, uh, 24, 25, 26 inch waist, opt for a small. I'm also a B, so, you know, not too large. So anything larger you will need uh, to size up. A similar style, I'm not sure if it's called the toy or something, I'll pop it up here. The lady did tell me, the one with the sleeves, um, that for a lot of people, especially uh, slimmer it looks quite odd because there's gaps I didn't get around to trying that one on but that's something to bear in mind um I tried on uh their corsets as you can see in the video I tried on um a pink and a white the pink first size extra small um I said to, oh it's awfully large though and <laughs> breast area well that's because they have two different sizes um for cups so if you're a smaller size or a larger size there's two different ones I then tried on the white which was a perfect size um but I wasn't too much of a fan of the straps they are adjustable but in my opinion unlike this here which is really sucks you in I don't I mean it was it was decent don't get me wrong but I always say opt for sort of lingerie businesses um such as victoria's secret for corsets because the boning's there and you really are sucked in but if that's not what you want and you want something a little more casual a little more movement i would recommend but i try it on first because for me i don't know the, the straps just didn't look like they sit right Hi everyone, I just thought I'd pop uh, some of my favourite pieces on screen whilst I discuss a little more about the Jasmine dress. So I briefly filmed the footage you've just watched um, before I went out for my birthday a few days ago, but I thought I'd give you a little extra information. One thing to note with this dress is that you may need a steamer or to spend a lot of time uh, prior to wearing the dress um, as it creases incredibly easily um, and in my opinion it looks god awful when it's all creased. Though I discussed size and fit, what I forgot to mention um, was that I was told that this dress can be too short for a lot of people. Um, personally, I think I just about got away with it, um, but the lady said for most people, especially, you know, on the behind, it's quite short. I'm 5'5", five five, I take a 32 inner um, in jeans and in my opinion I couldn't have worn it if it was you know a centimeter shorter as I still felt very out <laughs> but these on screen are my top picks that I think I'll be picking up going forward any feedback you have on any of these pieces that you've tried or have yourselves uh, would be much appreciated and yeah thank you for watching sorry this is brief I am on the way to my birthday dinner um but I Hope this is at least a little informative and anything I've forgotten I'll have put in text on the video. But thank you. Bye.